This video will go over the questions part 2 regarding the topic of verifying trigonometry identities. To simplify the trigonometry expression, we basically need to remember the eight trigonometry identities here. Question 1, left side is 1 minus 2 cosine squared x over 1 minus cotangent squared x. If we don't know how to verify an identity, First, change all expressions to sines or cosines. Then 1 minus 2 cosine squared x over 1 minus cotangent squared x. Cotangent x is cosine x over sine x. Then squared on each side. Cotangent squared x is cosine squared x over sine squared x then cosine squared x over sine squared x this is a complex fraction we have to simplify times sine squared x on each side sine squared x is on the right side so don't expand keep the factor to the form the numerator is 1 minus 2 cosine squared x times sine squared x over expand the denominator. The first one is sine squared x minus the second one. This part is cancelled. Then cosine squared x. Use the Pythagorean identity sine squared x plus cosine squared x equals 1, then move cosine squared x to the right, then 1 minus cosine squared x is sine squared x. Then keep the numerator, 1 minus 2 cosine squared x times sine squared x over sine squared x is 1 minus cosine squared x then minus cosine squared x equals 1 minus 2 cosine squared x times sine squared x over 1 minus 2 cosine squared x. Then common factor is cancelled. The final answer is sine squared x, which is the right side. Question 2, left side is cosine to the power of 4 minus sine to the power of 4 over 1 minus tangent to the power of 4 of x. When students first see this identity, they usually try to factor the numerator. But before factoring, we need to think, is the process necessary to find the answer? Just to think a little slower and we will see that there is no need to factor the numerator. As always, first turn it into sines and cosines. N equals cosine to the power of 4x minus sine to the power of 4x over 1 minus this one is a tangent x to the power of 4 then sine to the power of 4x over cosine to the power of 4x then times cosine to the power of 4x on each side don't expand the numerator cosine to the power of 4x minus sine to the power of 4x times cosine to the power of 4x over expand cosine to the power of 4x minus then this part is cancelled then sine to the power of 4x is left over then cancelled cosine to the power of 4x is the right side this is the last one use the formula a minus b squared equals a squared minus 2ab plus b squared 
then let's put 1 over a in place of b a minus 1 over a squared equals then 1 over a is b a squared minus 2a times b is 1 over a plus b squared which is 1 over a squared then we have the formula a minus 1 over a squared equals a squared minus 2 plus 1 over a squared. Then the left side is, just think of it as a minus 1 over a. Then a squared, so sine squared x minus 2 plus 1 over a squared is plus 1 over sine x squared. The second one, plus a part squared is cosine squared x minus 2 plus 1 over a squared, which is 1 over cosine squared x minus the last one, tangent squared x minus 2 plus 1 over tangent squared x. Then we can read it as sine squared x minus 2 plus this one is cosecant squared x plus cosine squared x minus 2 plus secant squared x minus tangent squared x plus 2 minus 1 over tangent is cotangent squared x equals sine squared x plus cosine squared x Then cosecant squared x minus cotangent squared x then secant squared x minus tangent squared x then minus 2 plus 2 is cancelled then minus 2 is left over. Use the Pythagorean identity, sine squared x plus cosine squared x equals 1. Then first part is 1 plus divided by sine squared x on each side. The first one is 1 plus the second one is cosine x over sine x is cotangent x, so cotangent squared x equals 1 over sine is cosecant x, then squared. Then 1 equals, move this to the right, then cosecant squared x minus cotangent squared x. So second bracket is also 1. Again, sine squared x plus cosine squared x equals 1 then divide by cosine squared x on each side the first one is tangent squared x plus 1 equals 1 over cosine is secant then secant squared x then 1 equals this one to the right, then secant squared x minus tangent squared x, then third one is also 1, then minus 2. The final answer equals 1, which is right side. I hope this video has been helpful. If you have any questions, leave them in the comment below. Thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe for more.